Hi, this is Jimmy in uh, Instructional Technology at Oklahoma Baptist, and I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to create a fillable form in Word on the Macintosh side. So, this is uh, not a data collection form in that it's connected to a database and saves the data in the fields. It's a form that would allow your users to fill out each field. You could, send, for instance, you could send this Word file to uh, a user and they could type in their responses on the fields and they would keep it nice and neat and lined up and underlined and uh, so the best way I know how to do that in uh, Word for the Mac is to use tables so uh, I'm going to show you how to do that and kind of uh, duplicate the form that you see here I'm going to uh, uh, show you if I if I hover my mouse over the upper left hand corner of this table you'll notice it changes the ribbon up at the top to the table section and you can do lots of different formatting for for this uh, table um, so let's start by creating a new table and we'll just duplicate that one we're gonna uh, cho choose up here in the upper left hand corner uh, to make a new table and this table has two columns and three rows so I uh, put my mouse over those uh, boxes and notice they turn blue and when I get the right number of columns and tables I go ahead and just click and it creates that table for me Now notice it's got lines around around it but uh, we can change that in a minute so I'm gonna um, fill in the data that we need at least the uh, the headers for these uh, columns And uh, first thing I'm going to show you is how to change the, uh, the spacing. So notice when I hover my mouse over a certain part of the, the uh, border between these uh, cells, my cursor changes to different uh, types. That's a uh, resizing tool. Uh, first of all, I also want to uh, show you how you need to choose the entire column first. Notice when I over my mouse over the top of this column it changes to an arrow a down arrow I'm gonna click that and it chooses all uh, three of those rows in that column and now I'm gonna go to the border of between those two columns and uh, hover until my mouse changes into a uh, resizing tool and then drag that over and notice now my column border has been moved over I'm gonna do the same over here on the uh, the end border and now we've got it all lined up looks like the one above us now we probably don't want um, underlines we don't want boxes and around this part of the table uh, and so I'm going to go up here to the ribbon again and uh, select on the borders uh, to have none have no borders at all around that part of the uh, the cells in that table and I'm going to do the same thing over here and first thing I'm going to do is say none and then I'm going to uh, go back to the borders and say I want just lines on the bottom of the cells and for some reason in Word it doesn't do all three of those tables so I have to go to each individual cell and choose bottom in order to get an underline for all those now I can um, put the data in that form notice how it keeps it all lined up for you and it uh, the underlines don't grow out to the right because it's it's putting it inside the cell of a table instead of actually being underlined and notice I could do um, if I wanted th this first uh, first name last name address uh, headers I can do all kinds of things with these now such as if I right click uh, actually let's see I want to look at the home section in the ribbon here and instead of doing a left text to line I want to do a right text and so it lines it up next to the columns and you can do all kinds of formatting in that way of course you can uh, choose all of those and and choose to bold them or, or italicize or whatever you want to do to make uh, customize your form you can add different uh, form di uh, different tables all over the the form if you want to and that's how you do it